Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I am the CHAL Ellen today. Chal chat stonks to all of us because we have made an official announcement. Uh, the signing of Maxine uh, Biamu on a short term contract to the end of the season. Uh, uh, of course, former Coventry and Dundee United striker. Uh, we're going to discuss the signing, tell you a bit about what kind of player he is, what we could be expecting, and the kind of role that he's going to play in for the rest of the season. So before we get started, make sure you do like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss another YouTube video. And for now, guys, we've got plenty of stuff coming. We've got the WrestleMania 40 card predictions coming tonight, so stay tuned for that. We've got the next episode of the WWE Show podcast, next full episode, which will be online tomorrow. Uh, we also have a news update from Canada's Wonderland theme park over in Canada. Uh, so go and check out that as well when it comes out later today. And for now, guys, let's go into this one then. So Biamu signs for Doncaster Rovers, and let's talk about this particular signing. So first of all, the club's statement. Um, so the club have come out with the following. We are delighted to confirm the signing of forward Maxime Biamu on a short-term contract. The 33-year-old has been training with Rovers in recent weeks and took part in the behind closed doors game at Chamber Rovers earlier this month. He said, it's a privilege for me to play for this good club. It's a big challenge for me too because I've been out for a long time, but I'm happy to be back playing and for this club. I want to help the club to be in a good shape like they are at the moment. I want to play a good part in not just staying up, but climbing the league. My individual goal is to play as much as possible, score some goals and feel good in my fitness, my body and enjoy my football. Um, now, in terms of the history of this play, after a spell with Sutton United in the National League, he joined Coventry and was part of the side that won promotion from League Two through to the Championship. He netted 26 goals in 116 appearances for the Sky Blues. After leaving them in 2021, he joined Dundee in the Scottish Premiership, Dundee United, of course, specifically. Uh, but injury issues struck during his time at Tanadis, after which he returned to his native France for treatment and rehabilitation. Now, Grant McKenna has come out and said that Max has got some really good experience. He's been with us for more than a week and he's looked really good in training. He looks sharp and he looks strong. He's physical. He can get hold of the ball. I think he'd be a great foil for us. We can help him get fitter. He's not 100%, but we feel we can get him up to speed really quickly. Hopefully, he has a real impact for us for the remainder of the season. And per usual, the deal is subject to international clearance and he will wear Number 36. So then, what kind of player are we getting with Maxime Biamu? We are getting a physical striker. We are getting an experienced striker. That's two main traits there already. Physicality and experience. Um, on his best day, looking at some of the highlights of this guy, um, he does the hold-up play really, really well. Um, I think he knows where, obviously, he knows where the net is. He's, um, he's a decent enough goal scorer. Um, this is a short-term contract, so why has this move happened? Uh, obviously, he has been on trial with us for the past week or so. Took part in a behind-closed-doors friendly against Chamir, where he reportedly did well. Um, we know Jack Goodman, along with Tabongo Kale, have been loaned out to Matlock Town, further down the pyramid. Of course, Goodman was supposed to go out, go out and loan to Linfield, but of course, because of a specific rule in the transfer dealing, uh, that move fell through. So he went to Matlock Town in the English non-league system, uh, along with Kulea as well. Obviously, both of them will have successful spells, I'm sure. Uh, now, obviously, with Biamu, the main thing you're getting in here is experience. Uh, I think he adds a lot more experience to that dressing room. Uh, you've got some leaders there already. Biamu's going to settle in very, very nice. So obviously, you'll know St. Westbrook. Um, so you've got some friendships developing there already. He can try and be a bit of a leader and a bit of a representative for the younger players as well. So you've got to look at that side of it. And, you know, there will be people that complain about this deal because of the age of the player and, and, you know, the fact he's been out of the game for about a year now. Um, but I would look at it as this. I'd look at this short-term deal as a, as, as a, I think he knows his role. I think he won't start every game. We know that Ironside will start, but when Ironside needs a break or needs to come off or he needs to play with two strikers at any time to increase the overpower of the fire load and the attack load on the opposition, you bring on a second striker and you look at Biamu, who's that experienced option that needs game time and is further in his senior development than Goodman, for example. So uh, you loan out Goodman and then you have Ironside and you have Biamu to carry you for the rest of the season. So for me, I think it's a good deal. I think it gets him prepped for his next contract, wherever that may be. Um and I think that it's a good deal for us for the rest of the season. I think we're getting an experienced physical striker who can hold the ball up quite well. 
We know he can win duels. We know he can get in the right areas at the right time. We know he can make those runs in as well. We know he can pinpoint his moments. We know he can pinpoint his targets inside the box in terms of where he needs to be for the right effort at the right time, depending on the service from the players around him. And we know he's going to be a bit of a physical presence up front. We know he's done one up front before. We know he's been part of a partnership before. Um, so we know that Biamu has got the ability to try and get back up to those levels. Uh, we know, obviously, he's 33, so he won't go, in my opinion, higher than League 2, maybe League 1 at a push, uh, depending on his rehabilitation. But I'd say League 2 is the, the, the maximum for him at the moment now for the rest of his career. Um, depending how this spell goes. But for me, I think that he's an experienced striker. He's exactly the kind of striker we needed to bring in on a short term while we loan out Goodman for more experience further down the, uh, the non-league system. And, you know, I think he's got the ability to really try and be a leader off the pitch as well. Like I said, being a bit of an influence to the younger players along with the leaders and the experienced players that are currently in that dressing room. And like I said, I think the relationships with Biamu, with Westbrook, and I'm sure all the players as well that have played with him or against him, you know, we know they can develop further relationships behind the scenes as well. So, you know, I, I wish nothing but the best for Biamu um, with this Don Strovers. But like I say, it's a short-term contract. So we won't see him probably uh, past this season. Um, and it's just about getting him ready for next season to get under a, a proper contract, whether that be in League 2, the National League, back in France, wherever. Um, so thank you very much, guys, for watching this little analysis on Maxi and Biamu. Make sure you do like, comment, subscribe. And for now, I am the C-H-A-L-L. Ciao, -L.